getting a little bit of conditioning in, a little bit of fitness in, but in their own space that is appropriately distanced between the other players. Well, today, clubs and schools kicked off with their first practice with the new guidelines. Our Haley Brooks joining us live from Henderson Middle School, where they held their first soccer practice. Haley, I am all ears. You know that's my favorite sport. Donna, Kevin, a few hours ago, the fields behind me looked a lot different. For starters, there was dozens of kids out here playing soccer and hundreds of cones marking where everyone could safely stand. Now, we spoke with one player who was very excited for his first day back. Happy to be out here in the fresh air and getting to do what I love. The Henderson Middle School soccer fields were filled with kids for the first time in months. I like that I can get out, run and just be free. 12-year-old Davis Smith says his last soccer season was cut short due to COVID-19, so he was excited to lace up some cleats, strap on some shin pads, and kick the ball around. Feels like getting a present on your birthday. Before showing up to practice, Davis and the rest of his teammates had to screen themselves at home. According to the guidelines, this needs to be done before every practice. Some other rules include no shaking hands, no sharing water, no touching any field equipment, follow social distancing, and parents must remain in the car. We read through the uh, guidelines together so that he was fully aware of what he could and couldn't do. Davis's dad, Scott Smith, says he feels completely safe kicking off this soccer season with the restrictions in place. Scott says kids adapt fast. It's going to be much harder for parents to watch behind the windshield. I'll still yell. I'll just be 10 feet away from the next closest screamer. <laughs> no matter the amount of restrictions, masks or no masks, number four says he's ready to go. We're getting to start back over and have a chance to actually do what we love as a team and win games. Now, as you saw, there was no groups of people standing together. Everyone was working on individual skills, and that's how practices are going to continue looking for now. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Haley Brooks. Back to you.